Hello everyone, my name is Francois Jean from Fastair and today we'll go through a tutorial aimed at understanding the grid in Woodcraft and the different ways to align and rotate objects precisely. I've prepared a simple project for this. Let's open it. As you'll notice, this project only contains two pieces of lumber. My goal is to have these pieces meet at a 90 degree angle. Let's dive into the Grid Options panel, which is accessed by pressing this button. In this panel, you'll notice that you can change, among other things, the grid snapping and rotation snapping. The grid snapping is set at half an inch and rotation at 15 degrees by default. We'll bump up the rotation snapping to 90 degrees, since that's the angle we want to achieve. You'll notice that the grid is inactive by default. When the grid is inactive, objects are not constrained in their movement or rotation. Let's undo this change to get back to our previous position. I'll go back to the grid panel and change the grid mode to relative. Notice that when I change the grid mode, another icon changes in the application toolbar. This icon is a shortcut to quickly change the grid mode without going through the options panel. In relative mode, the object is rotated rel relative to its start position in 90 degree increments. This is not, however, what we want to achieve. We'll set the mode to absolute. Now the object rotates at absolute 90 degree angles. The same concept of relative to absolute also applies to movement. Now I can align both pieces of wood together using snapping. The selected board is properly positioned left to right. I just want to move it up so it meets the other board at the top. I can tap the movement handle to constrain movement to one axis or the other. This ensures me that I won't be moving the board left to right since it's already positioned properly in that axis. Notice that when the grid is on, the screen turns blue to show that a grid is currently active. That's all there is to aligning objects in Woodcraft. Hope you have fun with the app.